Hey, welcome to PhysioEd Neuroboxing with your host. This is Dr. Jake Gladstone, Doctor of Clinical Psychology uh, and Martial Arts Instructor. I'm excited to uh, work with you guys today and our session today is called Breathing Big and Loud. So what we're gonna focus on today, just you know, like the title entails, we're gonna focus on uh, loud breathing techniques and what these do is they can help to uh, reduce that repressed speech that people often experience with Parkinson's and so forth. Also helps to kind of generate a lot of uh, power and energy and to promote good breathing, okay? So there's a number of benefits from breathing big and loud. And uh, we'll get started today with just a little bit of warm ups, and then I'm gonna coach you through the specific techniques. But first, what we wanna do before we get started is make sure we have a nice, clear space in front of us uh, and that we're aware of the type of floor we're on, right? If we're on a, a carpet, you know, just to make sure that, um, uh, that we're aware of how long the, the carpet is and that we're not getting caught up on it, you know, that you have a good surface to maneuver on. And if you have a hard floor, you know, hardwood, linoleum, tile, whatever that is, make sure it's not slippery. Make sure that you're in a place where, um, where, you, can, where you can balance and move. Uh, also, just to make sure that you don't have any uh, objects in the way or dogs or cats running around, kids, things like that, that you're in a clear space without any obstructions and that you have good footwear. Uh, one last thing on this note, and uh, have a chair handy or something nearby. If you ever need to sit down, you go ahead and sit down. If you're feeling dizzy or you're feeling like you've got some pain in the joints or something and your body is talking to you and you have that indication that you need to just modify the exercises and do some of the techniques from a sitting position, that's perfectly fine. So keep the chair off to the side somewhere uh, handy for you if you need it. Okay. All right. Having said that, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to center myself right here, screen directly in front of me. So in front of you, you have your screen and you have a good focus on that. So you've got a, uh, a good, good view of, of me on here as I model these warm ups for everybody. Okay. So my feet are going to be in a neutral position, just about beyond shoulder width. So nice and balanced. Okay. And my hands are going to be on my hips. I'm just going to start first with some hip rotations. Okay. And again, we're going to do a brief, a brief warm up before we get started into these breathing big and loud techniques. And right now I'm just rotating at those hips. Okay. And as we do this, you know, we can start with some small circles and start to increase the size of those circles as you continue, All right? Nice and easy. And while you're at it, breathe. Make note of your breathing. Always breathing, relaxed and natural. So I'm just gonna count down. When I count, when you do these rotations, you don't have to do one rotation per count. Just think of the count as a time duration, okay? I'm gonna count down from 10, nine, eight, seven, at your own pace, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Okay, let's go ahead and switch directions now. So our feet are just about shoulder width or a little beyond, and you're rotating at the hips. Keep your back relatively straight here. We're rotating at the hips, nice and easy. You modify this if you need to, if you got any lower back pain or something like that, but otherwise, nice, relaxed, circular motions from the hips and breathe. Very good. I'm gonna count down from 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, relax, okay. So we are going to maintain this position with our feet in a neutral stance, and we are gonna start to rotate those arms. Circular motion, you continue to just face the screen in front of you and focus on uh, my image, and I am going to just show you from a profile view, nice circular motion, right, okay? And we don't wanna lean forward too much, we wanna keep that back up straight. Sometimes there's a, a little lean just because of the activity, it's okay, but generally speaking, we wanna keep that back as straight as we can and circular motions with those hands, uppercuts, right? Just flow, just flow, good. All right, I'm gonna face you all here. And as we do this, I just want you to focus on breathing, okay? Nice fluid motion with those hands and breathing. 
Good. And relax. Very nice. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do, because we're emphasizing nice, big breathing uh, techniques today, is we're gonna do some circular breathing with our arms. Now, if you have a shoulder pain or something where it limits the mobility as their arms raise up, you can just raise to the level that's comfortable and go down. If you don't have any uh, problems or aches and pains up in your shoulders, what we're gonna do is, is we're going to inhale as we raise our arms circular fashion over our heads. And then we exhale just naturally with our lung capacity, right? We're not holding anything in, we're just going with that. Breathing in as we raise those arms up and out as we lower those arms down. So just on your own, with your own breath, Again, and we inhale, breathing in as the arms raise over the head, and we lower our arms as we breathe out. I'm gonna do this just two more times. Nice deep inhalation as the arms go over the head, and we don't hold on to it, we just let it go as we exhale. I'm gonna do one more. And out. Nice, okay, just relax for a moment. So uh, again, we're gonna maintain this position with our feet at about shoulder width or a little beyond. And we're gonna go ahead, loosely interlock the fingers and do some wrist rotations, okay? Good, good. And, and just a reminder, anytime you do bag work, if you have a punching bag at home or you're gonna hit like focus pads with somebody or something, uh, wear proper uh, uh, gear on your hands, gloves or hand wraps and, and warm up your wrists too, nice and easy, uh, if you're gonna hit things especially. So we're gonna finish this up just with a few more rotations. You see how I'm doing this? The fingers are loosely interlocked and we're just rotating the wrists. And relax, let that go. Let it go now. Very good, very good. Okay, we'll do one more warm up here before we get into our specific techniques. What we're gonna do next is when our feet are here at about shoulder or, or hip width, we're gonna take that right foot, short step forward. And I want you guys to lift those toes, lift the toes and the ball of the foot Keep that heel planted into the floor as we go with this motion. Now I'm gonna count out 10 of these from one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Go ahead and switch those feet up. Take a nice, nice deep breath as you do that. Here we go. I got my left foot forward now and my feet are at about hips width, okay? And we're lifting those toes, the heel remains grounded, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice, okay. Relax for a moment. Go ahead and center yourself uh, in front of your screen. We're gonna go over a little bit about breathing, diaphragmic breathing or belly breathing, you can call it. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to integrate that into some basic boxing techniques. Uh, and as we do that, we're gonna get, that's where the loud and proud comes in, where we're gonna start to make some noise, okay? So I hope your, uh, your partner or your family members aren't in the other room watching something on Netflix or on TV or something like that. You better warn them that it's gonna get pretty loud in here, okay? So we're gonna have fun with this. So again, we're just gonna maintain this nice neutral stance, all right? And we're gonna focus just on some belly breathing first. So I want everybody to just go ahead and put your hands like on your belly for a second. This is where our awareness is gonna go, okay? And you can just rest your hands, one or two hands there. And for a moment, all we're gonna do here is breathe and fill up that belly like a balloon, okay? Breathe it in and out. Good. So you can go ahead and just do that as I'm talking and as you listen here, just breathe into the belly. And of course, as the belly inflates, the chest will inflate too, and then out. And it's not a contest with, your se with yourself as far as how much air you can get in there, just naturally into the belly and into the chest and out, good. Now you'll notice, you can look at my, uh, my posture and everything, and as I inhale, we get a little taller because your body is expanding and as I exhale, body contracts a bit, okay? So we want to kind of feel that. The body gets big. 
and then it contracts a little bit, okay? So I want you to breathe in. I'm gonna show you profile view here, just kind of that, that idea. Air going into the body, into the belly, and out. Okay? So take about uh, three more breaths here with your hands on your belly. In and out. Go ahead, get two more in there at your own pace. In, out, and last time in. Into the belly, into the chest, and out. All right, here's what we're gonna do next, okay? So now that you've got this, uh, this circular breathing pattern down, you got an idea of that and a feel for it, what we're gonna do now is as we breathe out, we're gonna make some noise, okay? And the noise is gonna be the, the easiest, most natural one. There are a few natural noises to make, but we're gonna go with ha today, all right? We're gonna go with ha, and how we're gonna do that is I'll demonstrate, you can follow along right now or you can just watch me do it once first before you get into it. But I'm gonna breathe in to the belly, into the chest, and now once that air is in there, I'm gonna breathe out, ha, like so, and just let your voice escape with the breath, okay? That's what you're gonna do. And as you do that, let that voice home just out through the belly, okay? We're gonna do that again, let's all do it now if you haven't started with me, okay? Breathe in, and out, ha, good. Do you feel it come from here? Comes from the core, comes from the gut, all right? Let's do a couple more of those together, all right? We're gonna breathe in and out. Ha! Just like so. Very good. So I want you to do a couple of those on your own right now, and I'll just be a model for you, and I'll do it again about two more times with you. And in. And out. Ha! Good. And one more time together. Everyone together. Here we go. Breathing into the belly into the chest, and as you exhale, ha, let it go out, okay? Very good, all right, let's just shake it loose for a moment. Here we are, we're still gonna remain here in this neutral stance, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start applying this uh, loud breath, this breathing technique with our striking techniques, okay, all right? But before we do that, I want y'all from this neutral position just to rotate at the hips, and let those arms dangle. We do this often before we uh, start punching because it's a reminder that a punch is a whole body motion. A punch is not just swinging your arm out, right? A punch is rotating the hips and you keep your shoulders relaxed as you throw that arm out. We'll get to that in just a moment. But right now, rotate those hips and belly breathe. Breathe into that belly, breathe out. And just let those arms dangle like noodles arms are noodles, your hips are relaxed, and breathe into the belly, and out. Okay, good, I'm just gonna do this for a few more seconds, about let's say five, four, three, breathing, two, and breathing, one. Nice, okay, all right, here we go. So, let's go ahead, from a neutral position, we're gonna take that left leg, short step forward into our boxing stance, okay? Now, once we get that short step forward, we wanna make sure we do a little pivot on those feet. So both of our feet are not, um, you know, right there straight ahead of us. That pivot on the balls of the feet, mind you, put our feet at about a 45 degree angle. Bend those knees, don't lock your knees out, okay? I want you to bend them just slightly, okay? And then our back also is, is relatively straight, keeping that tailbone beneath us. We don't wanna be here too much, if you can, Try to keep yourself, your center line, straight through you, okay? Now, if you need to sit down and modify this technique, it's all good. Just sit down and put your hands up, okay? And keep those elbows kind of close to the body and just stay loose. You see how I'm doing that? If you're sitting, that's fine. If you're standing, same uh, format from the waist up here, okay? But the feet, we got about hips width between them, okay? So they're on those train tracks, all right? now. Just to review basic punching techniques, we're gonna focus primarily on jab, cross. We might add a hook in there later, but right now, we're going jab, cross, okay? But we're not gonna call out the jab and the cross today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make that noise, that big, loud, ha, noise, okay? In uh, karate, they call it like a ki eye, you know? Um, uh, these things, it's just that energy coming out, okay? So what it's gonna be, and I'm gonna demonstrate in just a moment, but before I do, I want you to just start throwing those punches and breathing. 
okay? Good, all right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting a little more emphasis on that breath so you can hear me like that. You're breathing out, out on those punches. Home, home, okay? So we're getting a good rotation. That rotation is coming from the hips, right? And we're breathing out as we punch. Home, home, okay? Now I'm gonna start putting that noise in there, making it a little bit louder for you. I'm gonna get verbal with it, okay? Here we go, and ha, ha, just like that. I want you guys to do it with me, okay? Here we go, and ha, ha, just like that. There we go, and ha, ha. So you throw that left jab, ha, cross, ha, just like that. Here we go, ha, ha. Come from the core, ladies and gentlemen. Ha, ha, just like that. There we go, ha, ha. That's it. And ha, ha. There we go. Let's do it again. Ha, ha. And again. Ha, ha. Very nice. So I want you guys to go ahead and continue at your own pace. I'm kind of talking as I do this. I want you to continue to go with the ha, ha as you throw these, okay? Here we go. And ha, ha. Rotate those hips. Ha, ha. That's it. Throw those punches. Ha, ha. Straight out in front of you with those punches. Ha. Ha, very nice, and ha, ha. We're gonna do five more now, okay? We're gonna go five more on the count, and one, ha, ha, and two, ha, ha, and three, ha, ha, and four, ha, ha, and five, ha, ha. Very nice, and relax, good, good, okay. So just relax, take a few deep breaths right now. Um, uh, one thing that's really important, well, there are multiple um, aspects of, of breathing big and loud that are important, and um, I uh, paraphrase these in the beginning, but for one, uh, what we're doing is we're helping to reduce that repressed speech, right, that often happens, okay? So you're training yourself to speak louder in daily life and so forth and be able to verbalize um, at a louder level, which, which is desirable, that's what we want. The other thing, too, is as you've noticed with the breathing, breathing out, Ha! We're also promoting good breathing, circular breathing. So this is helping us and helping our respiratory system as well, okay? So we want to be able to, um, to identify how this benefits us in multiple ways, okay? So look, let's go ahead, get that left leg forward, right leg back again, okay? So we're going to have some fun with this, but let's go ahead and get those hands up. What we're going to do now is we're gonna add just a little bit of footwork to it. Okay, now if you're sitting down, that's fine. Just sit down and stay loose with those hands up, okay? If you are here in the stance with me in your boxing stance with that left leg forward, right leg back, we're gonna go forward and back, okay? So that technique is a step slide forward and a step slide back. And I'll show you from a side position, it's gonna be forward and back, okay? Just like that, all right? Now, what we're gonna add to this as we go is as we move forward, it's gonna be ha, ha, a jab cross, and then we're gonna step back to our point of origin, okay? So we'll go forward, ha, ha, and back, just like that, okay? So let's go ahead and do this at your own pace. It's not a race with, uh, you know, uh, lunging forward, lunging back really fast. Right now, it's just a relaxed stance with those hands up, and as you go forward, Yay, hey, and back, good. All right, and ha, ha, just like that. And back, and forward, ha, ha. Remember, we're doing that jab cross as we go forward. And forward, jab, cross, and back, okay. Here we go, and forward, ha, ha, and back. And forward, ha, ha, and back. And forward, ha, ha, and back. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, and forward, ha, ha. And back, very good. Okay, re, uh, remain in that stance right now with your hands up. You can check your feet, make sure they're on those train tracks so you're not too narrow and they're not too far apart. You're about here, about hips width, those hands up. Take some deep breaths, good. All right, we're going to do 10 more of those, that same technique. Remain in your stance and just watch. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the count, I'm gonna say one, and as I go forward, ho, ho, and back. And pardon me, I know I make different noises all the time. I got a whole alphabet of noises that I do, but I want you to consistently go with the ha, ha, as you do this forward and back. We're gonna go 10 times, okay? So we're in a good stance here. 
And on the count, we'll move forward with that jab, cross, breathing big and loud, and back to our point of origin. Here we go. And one, ha, ha, and back. And two, ha, ha, and back. And three, ha, ha, and back. And four, ha, ha, and back. And five, ha, ha, and back. And six, ha, ha, and back. And seven, ha, ha, and back. And eight, ha, ha, and back. And nine, ha, ha, and back. And 10, ha, ha, and back. Very good, go ahead and just relax for a moment. You can move your feet out of that uh, fighting stance, just put them back into your neutral stance for a second. You go hands on the hips, or you can just relax them at the sides. And I want you to take a few more deep breaths because we are focusing on breathing today, okay? So we're gonna go back to that belly breathing. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and breathe into the belly, and the chest will rise naturally, and then breathe out. Good. I want you to go ahead just at your own pace. I want you to do a few more of those deep breaths as we breathe into the body, into the belly. The chest will rise naturally and exhale. And as I'm talking with you right now, I want you to go ahead and continue to breathe, okay? Just continue to breathe and bear in mind that there are a lot of benefits and a growing body of research on how deep breathing helps to, uh, it, it helps to um, get the parasympathetic nervous system engaged, which is the part of the nervous system that calms us down. So if you're ever feeling anxious, you can just take some of those deep breaths and help relax you, all right? So I got my hands at the sides, and now I'm gonna belly breathe in and out, nice and easy. And remember, we're never holding on to the breath. We're just breathing fluid and out and relax. Okay, I want you to continue to breathe as you listen to the sound of my voice, making note that breathing is a nice relaxation technique as well. And use this in your daily life for anything, okay? Continue to breathe with me, and then we'll merge into the next technique, all right? Good, good, so just stay loose there. Remain focused on the screen and breathe. And when you're ready, go ahead and get that left leg forward again, the right leg back. We're gonna put those hands up now, okay? So here we are in our fighting stance. Remember, that front foot can be pointed at a, a, a straight ahead, or you can have it off at a 45 degree with the back foot. Either way, whatever's comfortable with you. If you're sitting down, don't worry about it. It's all good. We're gonna go with the jab, cross, and hook combination. Now remember with the hook punch, the elbow is up on this horizontal line, okay? And the fist is, is vertical. We wanna keep that broad side of the fist up. It uh, helps with good technique. Anyway, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go with jab, cross, hook, okay? Now, this time when we do this, we are gonna breathe into that belly every time, but I want you to kinda just tighten up your core a little bit. Keep yourself engaged in that core, all right? And get those hands up, and we're gonna go with jab, cross, hook. And what I want you to do is ha, 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 and breathe. And again, ha, ha. Ha, and breathe. You can take a few deep breaths in between, okay? This is not a race to get you know, as many repetitions in as you can. This is just getting used to throwing combos. Ha, 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 with that loud, proud breath, okay? We're going ha, 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 just like that, okay? So you keep those hands up, all right? Here we go with that combo. It's gonna be jab, cross, hook. Keep throwing it with me. Okay, you can throw it at your own pace, but throw the combo, ha, 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 like that, with that loud ha noise. Okay, here we go. And ha, 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 just like that, all right? Let's do it again. Ha, 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 very good, very good. Keep those hands up, and again, ha, ha, ha. Very good, very good, and here we go. Ha, 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 nice. Let's do one more of those together, and ha, ha, ha. Very nice, keep your hands up, maintain your stance, take some deep breaths. Good, 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 all right? What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do 10 of these, all right? We're gonna do 10 of them on the count, jab, cross, hook, okay? So here I go with the count, when you're ready. Okay, here we are, and one, ha, ha, ha. Two, ha, 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 and always breathing. 
Three, ha, ha, ha. Always breathing. Four, ha, ha, ha. Always breathing. Five, ha, ha, ha. Make some noise out. Piss off your neighbors, okay? Six, ha, ha, ha. That's it. Seven, ha, ha, ha. Good, good, good. Eight, ha, ha, ha. And breathe. Nine, ha, ha, ha. And breathe. 10, ha, 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 and breathe. Okay, very good, very good. All right, so we're gonna go back to that circular breathing just for a moment. You can stand here with your feet at about uh, hip width or a little beyond, and let's take our hands. We're gonna have them down here first, okay? As we've, we've exhaled, and now as we raise our arms, inhale. Expand, and exhale naturally as your arms circle down to your sides, and do it again. Very good, and out. Okay, and again. I want you to do this one more time with me. We breathe in as we raise those arms over our heads. Nice inhalation, and then we exhale as the arms lower down. Very good, okay? All right, we're gonna go back to some of those boxing techniques with the deep breaths again, okay? Left foot forward, right foot back, all right? Channel that energy, okay? We're gonna channel it now for one last round and then we'll do, we'll do a few more breathing techniques, but this round I really want you to show some, some spirit, some pride, and some, some, uh, some energy, okay? So we'll get those hands up, all right? What we're gonna do for the combo is we're gonna go jab, jab, cross, okay? We're gonna go jab, jab, cross with that combination. From a profile view, it's right here. It's just two left punches and then a right cross, okay? So it's jab. Jab, cross. So before we start engaging our voice, I just want you to throw the combo and breathe, right? So we're throwing that combination and we're breathing. Good. Feeling that oxygen flow through our body and out through your, th your fingertips as you punch, right? Home, 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 just like that, good. Right now we're breathing, we're flowing. Throw in that combo. Just feel like you're water. Your body is water right now. You're just flowing with this technique. Boom, boom, boom. That's it, that's it. Jab, jab, cross. Very good. And jab, jab, cross. So you're in the zone now. You're just feeling that. You're feeling your body throwing that jab, jab, cross. Good. It's not a thought. It's just a feel. Feel your body flow with this technique, okay? Good. We want to promote good range of motion here. Long strikes, okay? Nice and long strikes. I'm just showing you profile view. You remain in front of your screen. Good, just like that. That's it. Good, there we go. Okay, we're gonna start adding the voice now, okay? Start to shake the windows. Here we go, and ha, ha, ha. Good, one long breath. Ha, ha, ha. If you can, if you gotta do multiple, that's fine, but ha, 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 just like that. Ha, 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 good. Ha, ha, ha. Get a couple more in. Ha, ha, ha. And again, ha, ha, ha. And now just breathe and throw the technique. You can throw it silent now, but just focus on the same sort of belly breathing, engaging the core. Good. Nice breaths. Good, good. We are gonna do 10 more of those, loud and proud, but not quite yet, okay? For now, Breathing. And you know, sometimes when we do these techniques, we get so focused on the right body movement that we forget to breathe or we hold on to our breath. We don't want to hold on to it. We want to let it go. Oh, oh, oh. Good. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're going to do 10 more of these, everybody. On my count, get ready, set, one. Ha, ha, ha. Two. Ha, ha, ha. Three. Ha, ha, ha. Four. Ha, ha, ha. Five, ha, ha, ha. Six, ha, ha, ha. Seven, ha, ha, ha. Eight, ha, ha, ha. Nine, ha, ha, ha. Ten, ha, ha, hey. All right, very good, very good. Relax those arms for a moment. Feet, shoulder width apart, and just breathe with me, okay? We'll go ahead and breathe into the belly. And out. You keep your hands by your core just to remember 
breath goes into the belly like a balloon, then inflates the chest, and then out. Good. Couple more. Good, good. And whenever you're doing this, you can, uh, you can focus on this with the boxing techniques, which I always encourage. I always encourage you to make some noise, whether you do the ha, 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 or maybe a jab, cross, hook. You can call it the combo. Um, I prefer to make a key eye sound. Mine is ice, ice, ice. That's uh, from a Thai boxing background. Like, people grunt, people make all kinds of funny noises, right? But I want you to find the noise that works for you. Start with the ha, it's a very good one. It really helps you belt it out. And also, um, just with the breathing in general, if you ever feel uh, like you have some anxiety, a little high strung or something like that, and you need to relax. Do the belly breathing. Draw your attention or your awareness out of the mind into the body and breathe, okay? Thank you all for being here today. I really appreciate you. Keep coming back and I look forward to doing this again. Take care.